coming to the second bid five pencils and seven pen together cost 50 rupees whereas seven pencils and five pens together cost 46 rupees find the cost of one pencil and that of one pen so let us see the solution of this problem in this problem we are required to find the cost of one pencil and the cost of one pen so let us assume cost of one pencil is equal to x rupees and cost of one pen is equal to y rupees so five pencils and seven pens together cost 50 rupees so the cost of five pencils is nothing but five multiplied by x and the cost of seven pens is nothing but seven multiplied by y so the both of them together is 50 rupees so we can write 5x plus 7y is equal to 50 so this is first equation and by using the second condition which is 7 pencils and 5 pens together cost 46 rupees so we can write cost of 7 pencils is nothing but 7 multiplied by x and cost of 5 pens is nothing but 5 multiplied by y so both of them together is equal to 46 rupees so 7 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by y is nothing but 46 that implies 7x plus 5y is equal to 46 so this is equation number 2 so in so the first and second equations are nothing but the required linear equations those are 5x plus 7y is 50 and 7x plus 5y is 46. Now we must solve these two linear equations in order to find out the value of x and y. Now the first equation is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. This can be written as 5x is equal to 50 minus 7y which is nothing but x is equal to 50 minus 7y divided by 5. So when y is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 0 divided by 5 that is nothing but 50 divided by 5 which is 10. So when y is 0 the value of x is found to be 10. Now when y is equal to 5 which implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 5 divided by 5 which is 50 minus 7 5 is 35 divided by 5 that is equal to 15 divided by 5 which is 3 when y is 5 the value of x is 3 now when y is equal to 10 that implies x is equal to 50 minus 7 times of 10 divided by 5 which is equal to 50 minus 70 divided by 5 which is minus 20 divided by 5 that is equal to minus 4. So when y is equal to 10 the value of x is minus 4. So let us tabulate the found, found out values in the tabular form. So here I write x and here y. Now when y is equal to 0 the value of x is 10. When y is equal to 5 value of x is 3. Now when y is equal to 10 the value of x is minus 4. Now the second equation is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. This can be written as 7x is equal to 46 minus 5y. This is nothing but x is equal to 46 minus 5y divided by 7. So now when y is equal to minus 2 the value of x is x is 46 minus 5 times of minus 2 divided by 7. This is equal to 46 minus of minus is plus and 5 to 10 divided by 7.
So 46 plus 10 is nothing but 56 divided by 7. This is equal to 8. So when y is minus 2, the value of x is 8. When y is equal to 12, that implies x is equal to 46 minus 5 times of 12 divided by 7. This is equal to 46 minus 5 12 says 60 divided by 7. So 46 minus 60 is nothing but minus 14 and this is divided by 7. So this is equal to minus 2. So when y is 12, the value of x is minus 2. Let us table these values in a tabular form. Here we write x and y. So when y is equal to minus 2, the value of x is 8. And when y is equal to 12, the value of x is minus 2. So let us uh, plot the graph by using these tabulated values. The first equation is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. The corresponding points of this equation are 10 comma 0. So on x axis we have 10 and on y axis 0. So the point 10 comma 0 is this one. And the second point is 3 comma 5. So the 3 comma 5 is here. And the third point is minus 4 comma 10. So on x axis we have minus 4 on, and on y axis we have 10. So if we join these three blue points, we get the straight line 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. And the second equation is 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. So the first point of the second equation is 8 comma minus 2. So this is 8 and this is minus 2. So the 8 comma minus 2 will be this one. And the next point is minus 2 comma 12. On x axis we have minus 2 and on y axis we have 12. So the point 8 comma minus 12 is this one. So if we join these two green points we get the straight line 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. So after joining the blue points we got the straight line 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. The line in the blue is the first straight line which is 5x plus 7y is equal to 50. And now after joining the green points we got the straight line 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. So the line in the green represents the equation 7x plus 5y is equal to 46. If we observe both of these straight lines meet at a common point. This point is nothing but the point of intersection of these two straight lines which is 3 comma 5. So the point of intersection is 3 comma 5. Therefore, point of intersection of the two straight lines is 3 comma 5. In the beginning, we assumed cost of one pencil is x. So, which is nothing but the x is 3. So, the cost of one pencil is rupees 3. And the cost of one pen is assumed as y rupees. So y is nothing but 5. Hence the cost of one pencil is 3 rupees and the cost of one pen is 5 rupees. This ends our solution.